for us tonight, Doty? I don't have any tricks for you, Michelle, but thank you for running the snake in the school locker as you come to me standing in an empty school right now. I yeah. feel really safe uh, walking down the hallways that there could be a three foot python. Oh, yeah. uh, this is really neat. Might you can purse, see some though. of the apparatus behind me. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a purse, he said, until the purse moved. Smart move there, yeah. Mr. Janitor. Rick joins me. Rick's uh, the driving force behind the circus camp. We are in year number three, Great. and it is truly a labor of love. It's an overused term, but you guys are driving all over the country to get this gear. You're putting in 10, 12 hour days all for the kids, aren't you? That is correct. That is correct. Um, when I came to the Grand Rapids Christian Schools, we had an opportunity to use our summertime uh, to do, um, they wanted some new activities in the, in the building. And I said, well, let's do a circus camp. And they said, really? <laughs> I said, yeah. So uh, we go all the way to Vermont uh, to pick up our equipment. The whole camp takes us about three weeks just to set up and to run. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have circus performers from all over the country, Boston, uh, Vermont, New York, uh, Los Angeles, uh, that come into town to help us out with the kids. We're seeing some video right now. I can hear it in my ear. You think, okay, these are elementary school kids, junior high kids. It's not going to be that good. There are some impressive kids right here, and they pick up things pretty quickly, don't they? Yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to use circus as a tool. I think as adults, we tend to think that the kids aren't capable of, of enough, and during the summer, we really want to push them not only physically, but mentally as well as incorporating things such as uh, teamwork, leadership skills, and also time management, goal setting, and the ability to fail. <laughs> Hopefully they don't fail when they are on the silks or when they are balancing on a ball, but these are real tricks, real things that you see in a circ show or in a real circus. You're not necessarily dumbing it down for the kids, you're pushing them. And they're responding. Exactly, exactly. We, we use full circus elements. Um, the kids work six hours a day, and when I say work, I mean work. Um, they are just dripping with sweat by the end. Um, some of them have come in with no skills whatsoever, and they find that they have an ability to do an element, and uh, they just run with it. And some of them fall in love with it. They want to buy the equipment. I've gotten calls of, well, how can I get a walking globe, and <laughs> how can I do this and that? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really working out fine for us, and, and for the kids, are they're really, really responding. It's, it's tough to put together a circus act in a week, but they do very well with it. Is the key convincing the parents that little Jimmy or Judy will be okay? The kid wants to hang from this. The kid wants to do a flip, but is it making sure that mom and dad can let go before the kid does it? Yeah, we've had some issues where parents um, have come in early to pick up their student because they had a dentist appointment or something, and they walk in and they ask, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> but um, we, we try to keep low ratios of students compared to the, the teaching staff. Um, plus we have student uh, camp counselors that are with us as well for spotting. Um, but but it's, it's a very, very strict environment. Uh, we, we make no mistake about that. The students all know what's expected of them. They're not allowed to touch the equipment without us being with them. So we take a lot of um, uh, precautions to make sure that it's a safe environment. But yes, there's some risk involved. It started on Monday, it ends on Friday. If people want tickets, how much are they and what time's the show? Yeah, um, our final performance is Friday at 7 p.m. Here at the DeVos Center for Arts and Worship at Grand Rapids Christian High School. Um, and tickets are $3. You can get them online at our website at dcaw.org, or you okay. can call 574. 5600. That's our box office, or you can get tickets at the door. All right, I have the link on my Facebook page. When I saw $3, I thought it was a misprint. I thought maybe they left a zero off, but it's only three bucks. It is really impressive stuff when you see these kids. Uh, photographer Matt Burns and I were here earlier, and he said, oh, I think one of those girls just fell, but then we watched her do it again, and it was a controlled oh. fall from the silks. It, it's really neat stuff and stuff yeah. that you wouldn't expect from local uh, elementary or middle school kids, Michelle. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's more Cirque du Soleil than, you know, circus with creepy, scary clowns. Clowns. That'd be bad. There are clowns, but you will enjoy this, Michelle. They are not in that. makeup. They are using expression and using the, the body and the face, but there is no makeup, so they're not quite oh, as okay. creepy. So you wouldn't be afraid of them. All right. $3 it is. Thanks, Dodie.